Hey guys, how you doing? This is JP Saricolia coming to you uh, once again uh, with another live stream uh, so we can cover some of the San Diego Comic Con uh, companies. I was actually running, so <laughs> my apologies. I just. Uh, ooh, I have a problem with my audio. Let me fix that first. Let me fix that. Ooh. Yeah, yeah it's, I was listening to myself. Uh, just give me just one quick second. Let me fix that. And uh, so we can get to work, get all the stuff done as we need to. But I want to say thank you to everyone that has been following, uh, everyone that has been watching. It's definitely uh, it's been a pleasure, uh, still a pleasure, uh, to be able to... Um, to communicate with all of you, uh, definitely I appreciate uh, the support. I appreciate that you're taking time to, you know, to really watch me and uh, to, you know, spend time with me and talk about collectibles, which is always fun. Now, uh, in this, uh, in, in t tonight, I want to talk about um, a couple of things, a couple of companies. Uh, I want to finalize all these tattoo companies, uh, all the big collectibles, uh, before I get into action figures, just like smaller action figures. We already kind of cover all the more uh, premier style one six scale action figures. Uh, we cover that. You can see that through Blissway. We cover um, um, what's that? Quantum Mechanics. We did cover um, any other other companies. Of course, Hot Toys. Uh, we got them all cover. Uh, but of course, uh, we still have some statue companies. And there's all the companies. They're very small companies. A lot of companies come, but there's a few that I, I really they cut my eye, and they always do cut my eye. Some of them they always. Uh, they always are special. They always have some great stuff. So we have, as you can see on the screen, we have Infinity Studios, uh, Studio, with, uh, which is a Chinese company that is doing a lot of great stuff. Uh, they do sell a lot of stuff in, in Asia, a lot of fantastic stuff. But they are um, they selling some stuff th uh, through SciShow, so they, they showcase some really neat stuff. We also have Gecko, a Japanese company that had a lot of, normally they do a lot of anime stuff, but they have some really cool statues to showcase and also uh, some mini bus and stuff. And we're going to look into all of that. Uh, Dark Horse Direct, Dark Horse, uh, Dark Horse uh, Collectibles, they are, um, you know, they, they're selling some stuff, statues. They also are, 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 they have a partnership with First for Figures, so they're actually distributing their products. So they are, you know, First for Figures is very known into the gaming community because they do primarily a lot of statues and collectibles for gaming. We have EFX collectibles. They always have a big showcase, a lot of props and replicas. And definitely this year, they also brought a lot of replicas, a lot of props, a lot of, they had a nice uh, setup. We're going to talk about them. Elite Creature Collectibles is a well-known company for many years. They didn't have much stuff, but they always have the life-size boss, a lot of stuff. Uh, and uh, we're going to look into all of that. And ultimately, we're going to talk about Weta Workshop. Um, definitely, it's a, a staple of San Diego Comic Con. They've been at San Diego Comic Con for 18 years, and they always have all type of things. But primarily, you know, we look at them because of Lord of the Rings, and that's the beautiful stuff. And I love the Lord of the Rings stuff. But they also they brought some other new stuff, and they, every year they have some newer stuff. They they get into a lot of stuff in the industry, uh, movie industry. So definitely, they're they're, they're going to. Um, they bring all that kind of stuff, little collectibles and all, and all sort of things. So let's start uh, from the beginning. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Infinity. So we're going to, again, like I did um, last time, we're going to Toy Art. And let me go to to the first one, which is Infinity Studios. And of course, we're going to go also into the website so we can look at prices and stuff. Well, this is Infinity Studios. Uh, it was showcased again on the SciShow booth. And uh, it was a showstopper. There were a lot of things. They have this, um, um, you know, life-size bus, and they have this gray. They have this for for Batman, of course. Nice, very nice, beautiful stuff. You can see Henry Cavill right there. Superman. That was my favorite. One of my favorite pieces of the, uh, I would say, of the con. But we're looking at um, first uh, Batman, uh, and then looks neat. You can see the. The, the likeness is just there. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Look at that. The eyes. They say, well, people have been there, and if you watch a couple of videos, say that this, this piece is huge. And I'm going to uh, show you in a moment. We're going to go to Facebook, and we're going to see some pictures from, you know, from the statue in comparison to a, uh, a guy right next to him. 
and it's huge. Um, so it's life size, of course. But definitely looks so realistic. This company is doing a lot of great stuff. Look at that guy showing his arm. And I, I think this guy has a, you can see, has a big hand. So he's not a small guy. And he's comparing it. And definitely, that's a big size right there. Pretty cool. That's a huge piece for sure. Let me try to go to Facebook. Let me show you Facebook. Let's see if we can go to... I was doing uh, looking at what a workshop, and we're gonna go back to it uh, later on. But let's do uh, Infinity Studio right there because they had a lot of pictures also uh, right there. It's Infinity Studio. They do a lot of narrative stuff, a lot of um, stuff they do. But this is the pose that I was looking at. We're gonna go in just a moment. Uh, We'll come back to this. I, I want to just finish with this one first so we don't lose track of this. We'll show. And this is the, like I said, this is the statue. This is the, the bus that I was, you know, it's amazing. It looks so great. I like the color design. I like everything. The paint application, everything. It looks so realistic. Look at the eyes. Just the face. You can see the pores. It looks just like lifelike. This is an amazing bus, and these are not cheap. Look at this. Even you can see under the nostrils, and look at the face. The you can see the you know his shave skin and all that stuff. The eyebrows, the hair is natural. You know that's real hair. All of that. These are super realistic. I never seen anything so realistic. I've seen so many things that are realistic in my lifetime. I've seen a lot of companies with realistic stuff. Uh, Bliss win all of that, but I've never seen something so realistic as this company has produced. And this is uh, the Wonder Woman. I think this is already on sale and pre-order. Looks phenomenal. I think I like this one a lot too, but I think Henry Cavill's uh, Superman I like the most, and this will be a second. Really love the detail on this piece. She looked great. The hair is natural. Uh, some people were saying on the forums that the only fear is that how are you going to maintain that hair, particularly over time? So def definitely, this is going to need a lot of care. And these are not cheap at all. You're looking around $3,000 to $4,000 pieces. Let me show you on the SciShow website. They don't have much on the SciShow website. They only, I think, they're only showcasing this. But we're going to go to other websites so I can also show you the price there. Well, this is not what I was looking at. Right there, Wonder Woman. Yes, $3,300 for that piece. But the detail is insane. As you can see. It is amazing work there. Of course, these are the, the stock photos. But the stock photos look so realistic. It's like you're looking at her. You can see it. It's like you just she's right next to you. Definitely good, and this you can you can go to many other places. You can also go to a big bad toy store. Um, toy store, just press uh, look for infinity. They have it right there. You can see all the stuff they have done in the past. Naruto Naruto pieces eight nine hundred dollars. They have the Great White Shark. There's a museum series that's about sixteen hundred dollars. These are not cheap at all. Journey to the West, Monkey King. Those are over $1,000. You can see there. Avengers Infinity War, Battle Dharma. This is just um, this Iron Series. I think they just confused that one. This one, the King of Fighters. Um, I love this piece. That's $800. And um, let's see what they have it. I think I saw it earlier. I don't know if they have it there now. Still, you're right there. So it's thirty four hundred dollars through uh, through them. It's sold out already, uh, but you can do spec you know spec fiction also as well. They also have him there. I think they already have Henry Cavill, Superman there. One one, but there's no not available yet for pre-order. But you you get the idea. This piece is uh, these pieces are great. I was really surprised by the quality of it. Really surprised by the quality of it. And definitely, this is a showstopper. Of course, this is too much money. I would say for anyone, for me, it's a lot of money. I would never 
But definitely this is something that probably are going to end up in museums and stuff. And some really rich collectors. But uh, it's, you know, they're huge and they're beautiful. The detail is there, as you can see. They also were showcasing some stuff that is not anything for sale. I didn't see it that anywhere for sale. And this is the Predator stuff. This is more like, I think it's a half, it's a half, it's a half scale. Which is very neat. As you can see right there, very neat. I know a lot of Predators fans, um, collectors are going to be all over this as well. I'm sure it's not going to be cheap. Look at this one. I think that's the same scale. So they have these really huge statues. Third scale. Pretty cool. I've seen some better details than, you know, the other ones we saw before from other companies. But definitely this is uh, this up there. AGG was doing, I think, did a fantastic job with their bus. But these are statues. So the detail is, not, they're not as detailed as a bus. They lose a little bit of detail, of course, because they're smaller. But still, you know, it's not bad. Look at all the colors. Now, this is from the Three Kingdoms uh, statue. I think I saw that on here on BTS. Let me see if they have it there for pre-order. Uh, well, it's going to be, well, I don't think this is the same. Well, this is going to be at over $1,000. So I imagine that this is going to be, be around the same price. I seen it that it was already on their shop in, in Japan. And let me go to now to, to the Facebook. So you can see right there the pictures because they have some really nice pictures on Facebook of this nice piece. Of course, you know, the we already seen those. They're very, very cool. I think they're going around. Let me go and check photos. So we can see more of them. Timeline photos. Here's the photos at the convention. You know, this guy, he's a, he's a huge guy. Look in comparison to the other ones. Cavill is not that, that tall. So these are right, real size. But of course, you can see Affleck right there. So definitely Affleck is a, he's a big guy. He's a tall guy. But you can see the, the people were really excited for it. You can see the one third scale. It's, I think it's a one fourth now that I'm looking at it. And they have this statue as well for um, Dragon Ball, which is not bad. But I think I've seen better. We're going to see it in just a moment. A lot of people were really excited to be there just to look at those statues. All right. Look at this little girl. She's very happy. That really looks neat. All right, let me just go back, continue with this one. Really, it's a lot of detail. I wouldn't go for that, but you know, this is the other one. This is a one four scale, if I'm not mistaken. It might be one fifth, but this is just the, uh, the statue is fine. I seen better. So I'm not going to say that this is the greatest thing. I don't like the base. It looks like the explosion, like when they explode some rocks and stuff, when they're fighting. I, I don't know. It just... It just feels that it, you know it needs it need some work, some retweaking here and there to make it look better. Uh, I've seen some better. Maybe just the lighting. It's just like it's in a corner, it seems. So it doesn't get enough lighting. But in this case, the figures like Goku, he looks pretty neat. As you can see right there, he looks great. So it doesn't look that bad. It's just not as great in my opinion. So definitely, I can tell you one thing. Uh, I'm really... Surprise in this case from Infinity. Uh, these are not cheap stuff, but it's nice, you know, to to get to see this kind of stuff. You know, uh, to me, it's like it's very neat. Um, I like it when you get to see uh, stuff like this, and um, you know, who wouldn't be happy with stuff like that? So uh, definitely something that uh, for me, it's always. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just one of the big, big things about going to the con. For some people, it's uh, you know, they just want to. Uh, they want to see everything, you know. Uh, some people, they just want to buy stuff. I'm the type of person that, to me, it's, um, you know, it's not about just buying this stuff. It's just enjoying just to see this stuff. Um, so this is something that I personally, I, I do enjoy about the, the conventions and about going in. Um, more than just, you know, like, you know, seeing what I'm going to purchase. is more about really enjoying the art and really seeing, you know, what, how things have, you know, evolved. You know, how 
the improvements that a lot of these companies are doing to a lot of this stuff, you know, that you get to see nowadays is amazing just to get to see. These bus are amazing, even though they're extremely out of my, you know, over there, out of my price range. Uh, definitely, they're they're fantastic. Well, let's move on. Uh, we're going to uh, go back now. I want to, uh, let's, I want to do now uh, Dark Horse Comics, uh, Dark Horse Direct. Uh, they also brought some look, some great stuff to showcase as usual. So we're let me go back to to this website. Have a lot of pages open, but it's because there's a lot of stuff to cover. Let me see if I can find it first. Right there. And as usual, Dark Horse, you know, always they have an array of things from figures and stuff. Um, they they have all kind of they all they have all sort of things. So here you got in Toy Arc, I'm at the page right now. They have Dark Horse, Hellboy, they got Game of Thrones. You had that figure right there, very cool. Uh, let's go to this. Let me find one because they also have stuff that has nothing to do with collectibles. Well, they're little collectible stuff, but not necessarily statue. So they have a lot of Anthem stuff, you know, glasses and all that kind of stuff. If you're into Anthem, I definitely don't care much about the game. I don't think anybody does. Uh, probably some people do, but I don't think most people. So they got the mugs, the, the coasters and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of neat if you're into that kind of thing, if you really um, like the game. Uh, but they have some uh, statues. Uh, one, I think they are like small. I don't know between one six, probably less than that from The Witcher. Um, definitely with The Witcher right now, it's a lot of popularity because of the the, the show with Henry Cavill. I definitely a lot of people are excited for it. Uh, it's pretty cool. So they were showcasing this. This I think this already uh, for sale. Uh, we're gonna look that in the moment when we go to their website. And we're going to look at the stuff. Love the detail. I don't think they're that big. I don't think they're one six. They might be a bit smaller. But um, love the little detail. Yeah, they're smaller when you compare it right there to this. So they're a little bit tiny. Um, but pretty neat. You can see the little display of first four figures. They didn't have first four figures. Didn't have much stuff. They were not showcasing a lot of stuff this year uh, as they did in Toy Fair. Pretty neat. Not too crazy about the base. Look a bit plasticky, so that makes me think that perhaps these are pla uh, PVC. We'll see in a moment. Uh, they're fifty dollars, so I'm guessing they're probably vinyl PVC. You can see this piece is. Let me go back, and it doesn't say exactly the size. It's a fill. Uh, it says feline figure. It doesn't say. Okay, let me go to. Um, Dark Horse Direct. That way we can get to see what stuff they have. Let's go to the shop section. To some of the stuff that they, they have there. And we're going to look in a moment. Some very pricey. But this is what they have. I don't know if they have other things. Hmm. Well, this is the figure, kind of like the same size that we were looking at. They said eight figure, eight to five, so they're not that big. And this already came out, but it doesn't say the price. It's $39, $40, so they're tiny. So I'm guessing that they're kind of like in the same collection. So I'm guessing it's the same thing. So I'm trying to figure it out what kind of materials. Doesn't really say. Someone knows, and you can let me know. I uh, will truly appreciate it, but I, I don't know. They might be figurines, porcelain or something like that. Might be. They're not that big. Well, just leave it aside for now. Let's go back. So this, they showcase this at the um, uh, Toy Fair, these little pieces. Uh, and they have this uh, different series. So this is the second series. 49 so it's $50. This kind of look neat. I like the little detail. They're not that big. So looking at what he was holding it, this guy in his hands, um, that might be one six. Yep, I think so. Yep, it looks like it. Close to it. But they're not bad little figures. If you're into The Witcher, I think a lot of people I have played the game. I have never really I haven't finished it. I haven't finished it yet. I need to. But you can see that. 
So, of course, they got Hellboy stuff, as usual. A lot of collectibles for Hellboy. Game of Thrones. This is $25, the Stark's uh, mini sculpture. Some other stuff in there, you know, their stuff they sell. American Gods. I like this pin from Umbrella Academy. I like, I love the show. Uh, I like the, the, this case, the, the, the comics. Hazel and Chacha right there. <laughs> I like those pins. Those are pretty neat. Now, they, I like that. And here is what they have for uh, Metal Gear Solid for first row figures. They got the Solid Snake figure. This is $84.99. I think this is PVC. Looks okay. Not too crazy about the Bubble Hill style. Now Princess Zelda right next to him. That's $84.99 as well. I do like that uh, Okami right there. Really like it when I saw it on uh, last convention, New York Comic Con. I think that a New York Comic Con. And then, of course, in Toy Fair. And you can see Okami and Materasu. That one is $84.99. So I'm guessing that's going to be also vinyl, perhaps. Not sure if they're going to be any type of polystone or anything like that. I'll find out, but definitely I like those. And Spyro too look pretty neat. A lot of times, this a lot of these figures you can go and get them at the uh, uh, Best Buy. This a lot of their their figures. Let me go. I'm trying to find here something. I, I'll, I'll give you a much better first for figures. Yeah, I, I, they're going to be vinyl because their big pieces are like four or five hundred dollars. The big diorama, so I'm uh, you know just for the price alone, I know it's going to be vinyl, um, which is not bad. You know they look good for you know what they are, but you can see this all their the the polystone pieces, they're like two hundred dollars or more. So and Spyro, right there, they have it in stock actually. It's already in, for sale. So in my is is made of PVC. It says right there. So yeah, they're PVC statues, which is not bad. Ooh, I get to that one. So I'm guessing, and let me try that now that I was there on Big Bad Toy Store. Let me try Dark Horse. Ooh, I put it wrong. Maybe I need to type The Witcher. Right there. Pre-order the Witcher Wild Hunt series, forty-nine dollars. I'll let you know right now if it's PVC or not. Yeah, made of plastic. Yep, PVC or something close to PVC. So definitely, it's interesting. Let me close this window. That way we can can clean my screen. I have so much junk in there. But again, I want to say thank you for everyone that is watching. I do appreciate that you take time. It's definitely. Uh, a highlight for me to be able to to really kind of express you know and, and showcase all of this to to whoever is watching uh, this is the Iron Throne this is a little one this is 1999 I know that they have a big one that's like five hundred dollars or something like that which is how ridiculous for that in my opinion uh, but they have this pieces also this right here Game of Thrones and ah, the likeness is not all that I think and if you like the figures nothing wrong with that look at her she, she looks okay there are $49.99, so these are, of course, plastic as well. Daenerys. Uh, Dragonstone stains. So these are all the things that they were offering there, like those mocks. That's kind of neat if you're a fan of the show. That would be a nice gift, actually, for a friend of mine. She loves the show. Then they have the Umbrella Academy stuff. Well, this is more like collectible thing, little things, knickknacks and stuff like that. The umbrella. I can get that umbrella for a dollar somewhere. <laughs> uh, interesting. A Sapien action figure. This is actually was um, done. It was designed and sculpted by 1000 uh, 1, Toys as they did with Hellboy. And this is the second one that is coming. This is not final, but this is the one that is complementing the, the Hellboy figure. That I think the Hellboy figure, let me go back to Sideshow. I think still it's Sideshow for sale. If not, I think it's going to be somewhere else. You know, hell boy. Sideshow right now is doing everybody. Like, it's 
they only have the six scale there so let me go to big bat toy store hellboy figure right there it's a hundred dollars in stock 112 which is not big but definitely it's pretty 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 I would say cool so this is the second one uh, definitely hopefully they keep bringing more characters of the Hellboy universe the figure looks very neat that Hellboy figure was well received uh, uh, by a lot of um, collectors so there's the uh, the this case and uh, 119.99 so it's 120 dollars which uh, witcher this is a statue I think this is polystone or resin or something like that this is very very cute I seen this one and um, and I think they had it at their store and it has a lot of detail very cool figure in my opinion I think Witcher fans can really make their own and this dragon let me go back to be honest I, I don't know why I close it <laughs> I know why I close it I just I, I just shouldn't um, because I saw some of this and some of them are really pricey um, so let's try right there go to the shop I want to double check so the price this might be it's a nice figure but might be just PVC it said material plastic it's plastic but it looks good for you know being plastic it does look good um, I think that's a lot of detail I love this one right here. This statue. This is a statue, actually. The Umbrella Academy Space Boy maquette. This one, I think, is still on pre-order. It's $300. Beautiful. I like this one. I like it. It's been out for a while. They've been trying to... It's been on pre-order for quite some time. Yeah, you can see you have the figure there, too, as well. And they have this Mass Effect ship. And uh, this one was there. This Halo 299. They had it. This replica. It's very small, but I think it's too expensive for being what it is. If you can see the comparison. Now let's go back to the page. They got this dragon. I think they had it as well. Ooh, I closed this one. Sorry. You know, this is what happens when you have too many screens at once. Particularly with my computer. Start acting up doing all kind of crazy stuff. All right, we got it. Let me go back to... So my apologies if I'm rambling a bit. I'm just trying to get all the information straight. Because I saw it earlier. Unless they move it. Right there. $599.99 for that. Ooh, $600. This is $500, like I was telling you. That's huge. But man, that's a lot of money. For that little dragon? No way. They can give it. <laughs> uh, I think they're, they're crazy on that one. Look at this one. This plastic one right here. That one in the back. It's plastic. Yeah, but it's $100. This is five? Six, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. That's too expensive. I don't know what they made it out of. It's no pewter or anything like that. No metal. Well, sometimes they make mistakes. Maybe just a mistake. Here you got the ships, the ones we were looking at, at the doll horse thing. This one right here. I don't know if there's a price yet. StarCraft Terran Battle Cruiser. It's $300. It's not that big. But I'm sure that somebody's going to like it. I just I don't think the price is right. I think they should, you know, this is what happened with replicas. Most of the time with replicas, they, they tend to be expensive. And sometimes they don't have much detail. Some of them, not all of them, because they are replicas. They're fantastic. Light up features on all, and they are worth the price because all the work that goes in it. Some others, I just sometimes cannot understand the price point. But, you know, everyone is different. It's just my opinion, of course. I respect other people's opinion. And if, you, if there's value for someone, there's value for someone. But definitely, this is an 18-inch replica, Infinity Ship, $300. Ew, the price was there. Mm, this is from Halo. Ah, uh, hey, maybe. I know some people will love it. 
look at the figure back there. It's a 112 scale. This is, eh, it's, it's all right. I think it's all right. But I, I bought replicas in the past that were a lot um, bigger than that for a lot less. All right, so we finished with that one. This is what actually, uh, as you can see, was showcased by uh, Dark Horse. Definitely, um, they had some good stuff. Uh, some stuff that it's all right. Hey, what's up, Dave? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you very much. I haven't talked to you in a while, uh, but thanks, thanks for 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 watching the the video. Thanks for watching the live stream. But yeah, uh, like I was really looking at this. Um, you know, they have some good stuff. They had some so-so stuff. Uh, some stuff that is affordable and looks nice. Some stuff that is, I think, is too pricey for what they're offering. But it's a matter of, of opinion. I think it's just a matter of personal choice. So we're not going to blame them for having their own idea of business. And in the end, it's just the customers are going to buy what they they really con consider to be um, the best option for them. So. Uh, we got to respect that. So now we got to go with another company and I'm going to try Gecko. This is company is based in Japan, but they do a lot of stuff for anime stuff. They are definitely a, they, you know, normally I don't pay too much attention to them, but uh, this time I'm paying attention because they had some really cool stuff to showcase. A lot of the stuff that has to do with gaming and definitely it seems that they are going to, um, they're really doing some really cool, neat stuff, not necessarily for everyone, but for some. And they have this Shinobi prosthetic. It's a half, uh, half scale replica. And this is for, uh, for this, uh, this, the Sekiro game, uh, the, uh, which Shadow died twice. It came out, what, in the PS4? Uh, and they have the Wolf which is the figure we're going to look at it in a moment, which is the, the thing that really caught my eye. The arm, not so much. They were saying on their Facebook page that they're going to make some adjustments, some changes to it uh, to make it more accurate. So if you're like in, into that game and you like those type of things, it's definitely something worth checking out. Um, it's definitely something worth checking out. But I was looking also, uh, the thing that really caught my eye was this statue right next to him, the one six scale. Uh, I'm not so sure this is going to be polished stone resin or anything. It's going to be plastic. A lot of sometimes the statues are produced by Japanese companies. Um, they're technically PVC. But when I look at this statue, the detail is insane. It looks fantastic. I wouldn't say the pose is all that because he's looking down. Uh, some people don't like that. But uh, you might just put him in a really because he, he's on a rooftop, so you might put it on the in a really top shell, looking down. And definitely, I think that's where the, the the intention is. But I love the detail. Of course, he has his arm, but look at the whole. Fantastic, you know, Japanese artists are fantastic with the detail, and it, it shows. It really translates really really well. Really looking looking. It looks really neat. Now, they had other ones, the hillbilly, uh, that's what they call it. Well, this is the base. Look at the base. That's pretty cool. Of course, this is all resin, but I'm not sure if in the end it's going to be made out of PVC. We will know for sure when the time comes. But this is another picture. You can see the detail in the arm, the face. I'm really looking forward to, to see this fully painted. I love uh, anything that has to do with Japanese art. Uh, I really enjoy um, Asian art. I definitely love the the style. I think a lot of people do. Um, Germinator, like you look like a Silla. Okay, you said that yesterday. All right, another another troll. Another troll beats the dust. <laughs> uh, but look at this. Um, let me, uh, as you can see in the in the base, pretty pretty cool. Now, not this in this one right here, Dead by Daylight from Gecko. This is cool. It's not painted, but uh, also the same thing. I don't play this game. I don't care much about it. But I was looking at the figures that are right next to him, and we're gonna look in just a moment. As you can see right there, all the detail.
Toten, one six scale. Let me go over here to a big bad toy store. Let me see, because I want to know exactly what materials they're, they're normally used for this. All right, we're going to see this uh, bus in just a moment. They have that for pre-order. They have the statues. Well, in that case, it's a statue. I can see the 299, so that means I know this Metal Gear Solid Ninja one scale statue. A lot of people love this one. And this one is made out of PVC and ABS. Okay, so it's going to be like a mix of things, plastic stuff. So I'm guessing the statue that they're showcasing right now, they're also plastic. Now, let me see if they have anything else there. This is the only thing that sometimes a lot of people, they say, well, this is plastic. Why is it so expensive? But, you know, a lot of the Japanese companies, they do offer really high quality PVC. And uh, it's fully detailed. Um, but definitely the prices up there is comparable to Polystone. But they do it because, um, look at this here, the Trapper, one six scale premium statue. Look at those. Those have a lot of detail. And again, those are just um, just simply some um, Sorry, I'm just uh, checking something here very quick. Thank you for waiting. All right, so you can see this detail. What I like about this one, as you can see right next to him, I'll show you in a moment in this picture. There's a lot of detail. I don't care much about this figure, but uh, you know, I would say of this uh, this video game or the figures. But looking at the figure, you can see all the paint job, really neat, kind of gory and all that stuff. So it's that I love this generator that they, they, they showcase in there. I don't know who is going to buy the generator, but when I'm looking at the generator, it looks so full of detail and it's just not painted yet, as you can see. So I don't know. It seems like they're really trying to go all out with the, with the stuff. They're trying to showcase as much as they can, which is really, really neat. Um... I don't know. This company, it really caught my attention. They have this also, this Dinomation, this call it, this like a retro style dinosaurs. i really not crazy about it. You know, if you want really cool dinosaurs, then you go, right now, Iron Studios is doing a lot of cool di uh, dinosaurs, but also you go to Chronicle Collectibles. They do have very neat dinosaur stuff. Um, but, you know, this one, it's okay. They showcase it. I think this is just P uh, also PVC plastic. But uh, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look like as you know as well detailed as the other company. So, but they have it there. So I was just um, you know you can look at the pictures there. This is the other thing they showcase uh, the Sakura Haruno. This is Naruto Shippuden uh, little uh, bus, and they have three. This little bus they're like forty five dollars. Let me go back to Big Bad Toy Store. Let me see what kind of material is this. They look neat if you're into that kind of stuff. They are made of plastic, though. That's my only concern about this one. They look nice. I'm not going to deny it. But the price is not up there. For being just plastic, I would say that this should be no more than $30. Because the company right now, uh, Weta Workshop, we're going to look into in a moment, is uh, showcasing a lot of vinyl stuff uh, in this con. But a lot of that vinyl stuff that they're showcasing, it's very... Um, uh, very affordable, like around thirty dollars, which is is pretty pretty neat. And uh, I really uh, I really kind of like. Um I really kind of like it. So um, so you can see right there. So I think there's another one. I don't know. They look neat. I think they're nice, but I wouldn't say that for the price they're asking. I, I think that that's not the case. I don't think is the, you know you should pay that much money for them. But uh, they got Bloodborne stuff. So I don't know. It's interesting. I do like some of the style of the stuff they're showcasing. Uh, it looks neat. Uh, I've seen some of their figures before. They look pretty neat, and uh, seems like people seem to like them a lot. Um, you know, a lot of Japanese, um, 
collectors out there this is dark souls black knight that's the one you're looking at right now that's 469 let me see what's the pro what kind of that's a pretty that's the one you're looking at let me see what material uh that one comes with eyes light up with leds Ooh, well that's kind of neat but it doesn't say what kind of materials this is made so uh it might be just like high end because of the price it might be just polystone or something like that but it has led lights and that's the one right there that you're looking at what kind of scale is this what's the scale 16 inches tall so this is up there a little taller than a one once you know one six scale And look at this one. Some of the little things that you can see, and we went back to it. So I can do one thing about this company. Um, it's interesting. Uh, they have some cool stuff, some stuff that I would say that I I recommend. Uh, some that I, at least just to pay attention to what they're producing. Uh, I want to see this fully painted, and I want to see the price in the end. Uh, it looks neat. I like this style, and I know that some people might, might like you know, like that kind of stuff. So definitely it's something uh, worth noting. Uh, it's something worth checking out. So once again, I want to say thank you for whoever is watching. Also, this, of course, is going to be uploaded later on. So it's going to be in my channel for a while. So whoever wants to come and watch it, you know, uh, you can watch it all the time and you can get all the details and this kind of stuff. So we're just showcasing this stuff. Um, so you can kind of you know, be mindful of the stuff that is actually coming your way. And definitely there's a lot, a lot of cool stuff. So now let's move on. I want to move on now to uh, the next company that I, I really consider interesting, which is EFX Collectibles. Uh, EFX Collectibles, again, they do a lot of props. They'll do a lot of replicas. They don't sell everything they, they produce. A lot of the replica stuff they do, uh, the props they do is just for movie stuff. But they always come to the con and they always showcase what they use in the movies, which is very neat. So every time you buy something from them, when they sell it, which is not cheap, when they sell it, it's something that has been used and utilized in the in the in the sets and the pretty much in the studios to produce like the movies that you watch, the Mineer and all that stuff, the Shield of uh, of Captain Captain America. So I, I want to go to this, uh, and I'm going to close this page because we're not going back to Toy York. Now we're gonna have to go to a different site, and this is uh, called uh, Rebel Scum. Uh, rebelscum.com they do anything that has to do with um, with you know the Star Wars stuff it's a, it's a forum it's a website and they also have a forum so looking at this and I'm going to have to reduce this because the pictures are super huge on this website so let me just reduce it so that way we can see it without a problem so we have this one right here I think we still gotta reduce it even more they're definitely too big. Much better. Let me see if I can see it. I think you can see it. If not, let me increase a little bit. That way we can see with more confidence. Look at this one. The Boba Fett helmet. Pretty neat. There's no price. As much of the stuff, you can find it. And I'm going to take you to the place where you can look for it. I don't think... Uh, look at this one. The Boba Fett ship forgot the name of it which is pretty cool pretty neat this is very nice this is not for sale they're showcasing it they showcased it last year too and they still showcasing it and this is one thing that sometimes a lot of um, um, collectors they get dissatisfied with EFX because they showcase a lot of stuff that never sees the light of day and it's not like they just for approval they're looking for they just presented what they offer what they create I don't know if they're trying to appeal to the to in this case their clients the ones that they hire them for all their production stuff but this is pretty neat and definitely would be nice if it was done and um, you know just for collectors just to purchase one but here is one of course you know you see this from the most recent movies some panels that they use for, you know, as you can see, some stuff they use, props they use for uh, miniature stuff, scale stuff when they produce the movies. Look at this one. I don't like the angle of this one. They showcase this one. This I like in uh, Studio Comic Con last year. One of my favorite things that they, they showcase, but it's not for sale, which is sad. And in my opinion, that would be perfect if they sell it. 
looks good. Now this photo is, you know, this picture is bad. It's out of focus. But look it up. If you look at EFX collectibles on YouTube, look at EFX 2018, San Diego Comic Con 2 or whatever. And it's nice. I think uh, Tess, um, uh, you know, the channel Tess, I forgot. I think that's what it is. This is just a test. This is the one that they, they have a nice tour. But they look at this. And this, you're looking at uh, prices around five to $600 for these helmets. These are not cheap at all. But these are actual real size the ones that they use in the in the movies these are the real thing you know when you see all the companies that they produce and many companies but when the company that really produce the real stuff that will be efx so you can see right there Darth Vader. and let me show you i don't know if a um size is selling some efx stuff right now i don't think so but let me try they do they have a star lord helmet was also they were showcasing seven hundred dollars just for that. Ooh, let's go to Big Bad Toy Store. EFX. He remembers what I was looking at earlier today. You see, it's almost seven hundred dollars. Just the Avengers, the Mark Seven, the old life size. Look at that Star Wars it's Scout Trooper. That's five to twenty-four. This in stock on sale, twenty-five percent off. They have a small little replicas too. They sell little stuff, you know. But if you want for the big, big, big stuff, you know, pretty much you're going to pay top dollar. They're not afraid to charge you. So this is the stuff they had in the in showcasing. I think this is not bad. Stormtrooper helmets aren't bad. If you really want to have that in your display, if you have like a Star Wars display and you want to put some of them. I have a couple of friends that love that kind of stuff. I never really had the space, but also they have the, you know, the Darth Maul lightsaber, all the lightsabers. These are signs. So I don't know. I don't think they're for sale. They're just showcasing that stuff. You know, if it was signed, probably it's more expensive. They'll charge you an arm and a leg. Anakin Skywalker, this stuff, the probably lightsaber precision cast replica, the stuff that they showcase in the films. But you know what? It's a spectacle just to look at it. Just to go and look at what they have. The different variation, the All Republic, Count Dooku, Stunt, Lightsaber, Position Cast, Replica. It is, you know, it's just the way they, they, they film it in the films. Luke Skywalker Reveal Lightsaber. You can always look it up on the websites. This one even has the damage and all. Which is very neat. The version 2 stun lightsaber precision. Let me go and see if we can look it up for like lightsaber. I don't know. Well, they had these little cheap lightsabers. I don't think I don't think that we have seen lightsabers from MiaFX and for sale in quite some time. You go to their website, Spec Fiction. I don't think they have that there. But we'll look it up anyway. No, they don't have anything there. All right, let's move on. Yeah, they were only showcasing a lot of stuff. This is something that I really caught my eye on the display. Um, watch this, of course, this um, this big, you know, ship um, from Star Wars. Huge. If you look at the videos, if you look at EFX collectibles like San Diego Comic Con 2019, uh, this they they'll show this destroyer and all that. You're going to see how huge it is. It is huge. But again, they don't produce this for sale. Or at least they showcase them, but doesn't mean they end up in sale. The stuff that they do is for the use for the movies, also for the ship right there, they showcase it. But definitely, if this is for sale, a lot of people will go crazy for them because they're definitely full of detail. Definitely like this one as well. And I think this was probably the last one they were showcasing here. I don't think there's nothing else. Yeah, that's the last picture. So this is what they have. Uh, definitely very cool stuff. Uh, EFX is definitely... 
always want a company that um, you know makes cool stuff, you know, but pricey. Now, if you want the cheap, like you know, replicas of you know a shield, Captain America shield, or Iron Man, or cheap miner, you can go somewhere else. But if you want the real thing, you have to go through them, and they're gonna be you know you're gonna pay six, seven, eight hundred dollars, you know, for something that is kind of authentic. But sometimes I don't know if it's just really worth that much, you know, in my opinion. You know, when you can buy something that is close to it. And it looks just the same when you hang the, uh, in this case, the Captain America shield on the wall. Nobody's going to know if it's like the $600 one or $700. You know, it looks neat just like that. But that's just my opinion. That's just a, <laughs> an advice that I give you uh, if you are into that kind of stuff. And so, again, I want to say thank you to everyone that is watching and everyone that is listening. I appreciate your time. Uh, I do appreciate that you spent some time with me. Now, let's move on to the next company. And this is, uh, in this case, Elite Creature Collectibles. Now, the sad thing that I was looking all over the place for information about Elite Collectibles uh, creatures, you know, they, I saw a couple of videos, but just a few videos. But there's not much stuff going on. Like a lot of people, like online, nobody's really talking about it. Maybe it's just because I'm trying to do it too soon. But definitely they had some cool stuff. They didn't have much stuff. They kind of brought the, some of the same stuff that they had in uh, Monster Palooza earlier this year. They brought the same things. They showcased less stuff, and, but some stuff was painted. But uh, I was going through all of that, and let me go back to this. And there is a... Um, I'll show you something here in a moment. I'm going to... I'm going to go to this one. This is an Italian website that I was able to find after searching all over the place. And uh, some of the stuff is so neat. Let me show you some of the pictures. And uh, this is a very neat picture. This is from Pan's Labyrinth and Monster Monsterpalooza. They had this. They were showcasing this uh, on, you know, painted. But now they have it painted, which is extremely, extremely neat. Um, Hope you, I hope you can see it. Yeah, you can see it right there. Very neat. Very cool. Another showstopper. A lot of people were really uh, loving this kind of stuff. Now, let me try this one. This is the creature. Uh, the, the, you know, the, what was that? The, the most recent Guillermo del Toro movie. They pretty much do a lot of stuff on Guillermo del Toro. And I'm going to take you actually to... Let me look. show you this picture. This is from... Pants Labyrinth. I'm going to take you actually to Guillermo del Toro. He was actually showcasing a lot of this stuff on his own Twitter account, but I like this one. The Shape of Water. This is from The Shape of Water. And uh, very neat. Very neat stuff. A lot of people were really pointing this one out as well. If you look it up on a video here, when you look for ECC or um, look for um, Elite Creature Collectibles, uh, San Diego Comic Con 2019. You're going to see there's a guy that has a video. I have those links for you later on if you want to look it up on the description. I don't have it now, but I have it later where he's showcasing this Medusa. And he's going through all the stuff. And this is a very cool Medusa. They did a very nice 3D effect. As you can see right there on this glass, this is the image of a soldier, a warrior that has been, uh, became stone after what, you know, looking straight at Medusa. But actually, it is this effect. If you can see this right here is actually, the sculpt that when it's reflected into this mirror it has the regular you know the shape but it's kind of like in 3d so it's, it's kind of blow out of you know the proportion is bigger it's more flatter so you can see it that way that's super smart and i recommend you to watch the video look for that and you're gonna see how they did it it's very neat they did a fantastic job on that i was very impressed of what they did with this one but let me uh, take you to um this uh, uh, it's going to load to to Twitter, and let's see Guillermo del Toro. I think it's go by the real Guillermo del Toro. That's what he goes for. Yeah, the real GVT. And uh, he was showcasing on. Let's see, we have it. Maybe I can find it. He was he showcased a few pictures. He's very active on on Twitter, so it might take a little while to get there, but we'll get there. Right there. I like that one. That's, a, I think, a much better picture if you can look at it. Very nice, very neat. The colors are great. 
ECC is a great company. Uh, ECC, um, you know, they are distributed by Toinami. They're distributed by Comiket. Sometimes people confuse Comiket with ECC. They're two separate companies, but they're, they've they been partnering for many years. And actually, Comiket is actually the company that distributes uh, ECC in the U.S. Uh, and Comiket actually, I think it was bought or has always been part of Toinami. Is that the vision of more like high-end collectibles. But they, here you can see they have some other pictures. Very neat. This Pan's Labyrinth. These are not cheap at all pieces. These are not for sale yet. I'm, I don't think so. Let me see if we can find another one. This one right here. This were also on the display. This is another picture of the same thing. Looks better right there. This one was the, uh, displaying Monster Palooza. Uh, the picture is not that great, but that that figure, when you look at it straight, it has so much detail, so much detail. Ugly, but definitely a lot of detail. This one right here, also a lot of detail. Uh, you can go to really to their website, and you can go to ECC Creatures. Let me go to actually to their Facebook page. Um. They really don't have, I would say, the biggest following in the world, which is kind of this, this sad because definitely they're a great company. Unfortunately, in their website, they don't really have that many photos. They have a lot of old photos. Here, let me show you. This was was in Monster Palooza. As you can see, this was like, now it's done. But this is the, the, the figure. This is the one that we're looking at uh, right now. At this was in April. This was Monster Palooza, but it's the same figures they brought to to the convention. You know, to to the con. To they got the uh, the it um uh, statue there back there. Very scary. This figure actually lights up like it's a one third scale. But it's uh, if you put some light on it. And if you look at an ECC, you look for ECC, you know, and you're going to see these videos uh, where actually it lights up on the side, like in the movie, which is extremely, extremely neat. Definitely, it's a fantastic job there of what they did. So, okay, let me just close this one right here. Go back to this, Guillermo del Toro's. I think that was it. I think that's all I saw that they were showcasing there. But let me try one more thing, uh, more thing, Elite. Or um, creature. I don't think they even have a Twitter, and that kind of sucks when companies don't have that kind of thing for you know stuff for people to look at. But this it's the it statue that I was mentioning, extremely scary. You can see that tiny video. Unfortunately, there's not much information. I couldn't even find enough information in any of the forums. It seems like people are all talk. Everyone is talking about SciShow. That's scary. Everybody's talking about Sash. Everybody's talking about Iron. So everybody talks about the big companies, but this companies also, man, they are fantastic. And as you can see, that the it statue, super expensive. And this stuff that they have done in the past, this was 2016. This gizmo, it was one of my favorite pieces of that year. Oh, let me see latest. You can see that one. Pretty cool. There was not much stuff. As you can see, there's only, most recently, there's only two posts. That's it. That's all it is. Which kind of sucks because this company definitely um, deserves attention. Um, look it up. I would say, you know, I, I invite you to look it up on, on YouTube. Definitely, you're going to be surprised by what they are producing. Definitely, there's a lot of cool stuff that they're offering. And, um, uh, you know, I'm really uh, surprised of the quality of their stuff. Let me look at something here. Let me see if we can find some prices, if they have something that can give you an idea. Because I like to give you... Um, they don't have it there. Okay, they don't sell it. Let me see if they have it here. I think you had to go to, in this case, Toinami. But I didn't see any prices on Toinami. Let me see. Let me try this. Solidar creatures. Right there. Let's, let me show you the website. I don't know if there's prices because they don't show the prices. They just show their work. 
They also had this uh, Giver Lisker Scale Bus, which was good. They had it there as well. But they don't have much stuff. It just tell you, you say shop, it just tells you where to go. It says Toinami. You go to Toinami, you don't see anything there. So that's disappointing. Uh, but definitely just showing you that for for you know for your information so that way you, you you keep an eye on it definitely will be good I, I once again i want to say thank you to those who are watching i appreciate that you take time uh we try to cover as much as we can uh, on, on this and uh, definitely there's a lot of companies out there producing some quality stuff you know everybody always thinks about you know the big companies everybody's always looking for you know SciShow, which is you know i don't blame you SciShow is fantastic you know they they i'm so amazed a lot of the stuff that SciShow did this year some of my favorite and i probably i'm gonna make a video when I, i'm gonna show i'm gonna tell about my favorite my top 10 favorite uh, pieces uh of this year comic con i'll probably have later in this week but SciShow pretty much took a lot of a big chunk of it. There was a lot of stuff that SciShow did that was really surprising. Uh, but there were other companies that really, really did fantastic as well. And, uh, you know, really a lot of showstoppers there. Now, uh, I want to go um, to, I want to cover um, a company that everybody loves, which is Wera. You know, who doesn't love Weta? Uh, Weta has been in the Studio Comic Con for 18 years now. 18 years. They're a staple of the con. And every time they come, they have something beautiful, something to showcase. Not only, uh, most people, when they think about Weta, they think about Lord of the Rings. But they also have other things to showcase. And this year was no exception. So they did a lot of good stuff. So I'm going to show you here. Um, we're going to go to... To some of the stuff they did um unfortunately i don't see many websites talking about the uh, which is surprising because every year they do but for now it's like nobody's doing it and they do have a great um a great showcase so let me go first to um in this case let's go to um weta i'm going to facebook don't have many pictures on their facebook for some reason I'm sure that they will have it. We're going to go to different sites. I'm going to show you a couple of things. So that way, you know, they introduce a tiny little figures. They, this is what they showcase on there. These are little figures that they have showcased. These are vinyl pieces. This is just little things. These are $30 each, which I think is a, a, a fair price for what they offer. Uh, so they have this. This starts those cosplayers there. They offer some stuff for Borderlands, also on the same line that they offer. And let me, these are not pictures that I wanted to see. Let me show you a website that I saw some stuff earlier. We had a workshop, San Diego Comic Con. I think it's in figures.com. IGN, I went there. They have nothing there interesting. Right there, figures. They mix up a lot of stuff. But this is what they have, figures.com. I'll, I'll show you some better pictures, better quality pictures here. They, of course, they got Planet of the Eight stuff. Um, pretty cool stuff. And I'm also going to go to Twitter because they have a lot of stuff on Twitter. Uh, a lot of statues, mini bus, the little vinyl figures. This is a new thing. The little vinyl figures, thirty dollars. Different. They're very tiny, but they're great. Like if you're, um, you know, you know, you have children and they're collecting for the first time. But they also had a lot of stuff they were showcasing for the, you know, in this case the, what is that? The dark crystals, um, which is coming. They have this statue. Uh, you can go to their website. Well, this is not the website. This is just the forum. I'm going to show you in just a moment. And we're going to see some other stuff there. And this is the pretty much what they're showcasing. There's no price on this yet. You know, still pending approval, which I'm sure it's going to be approved. But they were showcasing all kind of stuff for that. And this is this statue has a lot of detail. They also showcase this. Again, more stuff for Anthem, which I don't think most, most people care about. But these are little vinyl stuff. This alien queen, kind of like a rabbit. <laughs> Chappy right there. So these are kind of little cutesy things. You know, this is what the thing with um, 
the the company they just they they try new things you know weta always tries new things they have this mini epic things a lot of you know so they 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 go for all different budgets so whoever is not a big collectors you know the big collectors go for the very expensive stuff and i'm telling you they have really expensive stuff um but they also they offer stuff for people that don't don't want to spend that much money and you can see they revealed this little um lord of the rings figures and stuff on the hobbit they also have these figures here. A lot of people are excited in the gaming uh, world. Apex Legends. Uh, a lot of these figures. They showcase a lot of this. They're thirty dollars each. All their vinyl figures, which I think is a fair price for uh, for this. The guy right here, you can see Man in Black. Also vinyl, all thirty dollars. They're starting this new collection. They had Pawnee from Men in Black, which I like the character. You can see mini epics. All this is vinyl. This is another from Apex. So they're starting different lines. That, you know, you know they have the you know the Men in Black, the Apex, the Borderlands. They got Ghostbusters, and you can see right there they're all thirty dollars. I like this one. It's pretty neat. That one's neat. Very neat uh, for what they are. Look at this Peter Beckman in the back. Not bad. Unfortunately, I didn't find many websites with so many quality pictures, so I look forward for the ones that they were better. Um, look at Caesar right there. It looks menacing. So they technically did it for all the different um, IPs that they're holding, you know, the franchises that they're taking care of. Pippin, Kova, Teeny Tina, Borderlands 3, Maurice. <laughs> that looks pretty neat. Maya, you can see Borderlands 3, Gimbal, Mini Epics, Bilbo, I like that one, I think that was a, a special, uh, there was a few that they were like a special for the, the, just for the event, look at this one, pretty cool, this one right here, I think this was Bilbo, Possessed Bilbo, that was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Pretty neat, you know, if you like, like, like little things like this. A lot of people are really excited for this one, for this pieces. And a lot of collectors, this one was very neat. I think this is probably the showstopper. All this Apex figure, some of them that were not showcased until now, until the convention. Look at the expression, looking neat. I think it's good for thirty dollars. You cannot go wrong with that. Definitely, you cannot go wrong with that. That one's neat too. A lot of detail for vinyl. Pathfinder. I can tell you one thing. I don't crazy about uh, Apex, but more power to whoever likes it. Borderlands Three also. You know I. Not really crazy about him, but some people love it. And these are just the names. This is another picture of the figure. I like this figure, actually. It looks good for vinyl. Love the detail. And this is it. So definitely, this is great stuff that they were showcasing there. Let me see if we can get something at the... You know, we already look at the face uh, right here. Some of the stuff that we're showcasing as well. There's a different angle from the same. Pictures are okay. This one, I really like this one. I'm going to go to the forum. The Menace Morgal look very neat. They continue on with their little um, miniscapes that they have, the little landscapes. Oh, this piece is, my, to me, one of my favorite pieces of the show. But here, it's only one. The, the pictures are okay. We're going to go and look at better pictures in just a moment. But look at that. Love the detail. This is a 1-6 scale. It's huge. And this is the third piece in their, um, in their Master's Collection. So this is going to be pricey. This is not going to be cheap. This is going to probably cover $1,000, $2,000 perhaps. A lot of money for sure. But man, that's a new, that's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Now let me try to go to...
Here is another stuff from Weta, San Diego Comic Con. These pictures are better. This is uh, the, the you know the the stuff that we're using to showcase the thing. There's always a lot of people in there. Over there, which is now bad. Look at this one right here. Now it's a much better picture. You can see Caesar, all the detail. I don't know. This is not on their website, so we don't know the pricing, but I love the detail. And I think they're half scale, if I'm not mistaken. This one looks neat. Definitely for those that like this kind of thing, this is one thing. They also had a, a Mulan from the movie Sword. They showcase that it's not on the website. It's those that love those type of props. And um, here you have more. This is something that a lot of people were so excited for. A lot of people love this one. Gal Galadriel, I think that's what it's called. Galadriel, I forgot her name. Dark, The Dark Queen. Uh, and this one, a lot of people are in love with this one because of the detail. One six scale. I don't think there's a price yet, but it's probably going to be around $500, $600, or something like that, based on previous stuff. It's so much detail with the hair. A lot of people are afraid that this is going to break easily. Uh, it's going to be one of them, those that is going to be hard just to display because all the little parts. But people were definitely in love with this one. It's very, 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 very neat. It's a very neat piece. Like here, there's more pictures, different angles. It's very neat. I recommend you to look it up. If you go to the to YouTube uh, after you watch this video, if you want to find out more, just check for um, a Weta so the Okami 2019 uh, boot tour or something like that, and um, you you'll see there is one that's like 20 minutes. But this guy went all over the place and he did it a fantastic job. And that's the one that I use for reference the most. Um, but I think a lot of people were there. Planet of the Apes. They had a really nice. This is the Bilbo. Possessed Bilbo. That's a vinyl. I don't see anything else. Let me try. What a workshop. They didn't have that many pictures earlier. Hopefully that changed. They have some really nice, you know, here's a nice picture of all these little vinyls. I think we already looked at it. Yeah, we did. Some cool things there. They have all kind of uh, props. I don't know what she's doing, but she's playing something. All right. This is a better picture right here, but that's the only picture they showcase on that. All right, let me do one more thing. Let's just get out of here and I'm going to show you a better site. I'm going to Flame of Udom, which is actually the forum of, uh, in this case, Weta. Good place to go if you're, you need pieces. Now, there's a couple of pieces that will also showcase a lot of the stuff that we're showcasing because they not only have the same things that you saw and those the vinyl, although a lot of people are talking about them, you know, gaming, gamers and stuff like that. But to me, of course, I'm going because of the, the, the Lord of the Ring pieces. So this is one that a lot of people, this already sold out on their website. And I'm going to show you in a moment. I'm going to close some of the pages. But this one, I think I saw this on page 32, 33. I think it's 33. Guy at the, if I remember well, right there, this piece. This was there at the website, Aragon. Really nice piece, one six scale, looking very neat. This is already sold out on the website. You're gonna have to go on the secondary market, but this piece was one that I really like a lot too. Full of detail, you know. The one six scale line of the Weta is always amazing. 
Those little houses that you see back there, I don't know if you can see it that, you know, because they're small. The little decoration homes for the hobbits and stuff, those are around $50. You know, if you find them at the store, you can buy them directly from Weta. Let me show you the Weta workshop site. You can order directly from them. They used to be sold, they used to be distributed by SciShow, but they're no, they're, they don't distribute no more. Go to shop. That you can see the piece right there. Some of the stuff they're selling there. Go by the brand. We already saw that. Let's go for the Lord of the Rings. Okay, you got the little plastic things to be this close, so there's no price for the Galadriel. This is the Master Collection. This was only 333 pieces. This was the one that came out last year, the showcase last year. And that's the one that was a showstopper. They have this one on display there, the Arwen and Frodo and Asphalot. That's $700 for this. That's one six scale. This is the piece that I was letting you know. Sold out already there. Bilbo Baggins. You know, this is the thing. If you like that kind of stuff with, you know, that they are. They have the pieces. I don't think Big Bad Toys sell uh, Weta, but we're going to check it out just in case. Yeah, they do. They got the Planet of the Apes through the H statue. Very, It's small. It's just like a pretty cool. They had it on display. I saw it in one of the videos. $129, $130. It's not that big, but it's nice for like a, for a, you know, for your desk or something. And as you can see, they hide the tiny little things. You know, they have the little Hobbit homes. Like, this is for Halloween. They have for Christmas. They have all kind of things. I think that's it. No, they got more stuff. They got more statues. You can go to a big bad toy store. 700 in stock for this piece. It was already there. Pretty cool. I like this one. It's $100 for this one. So they all come in different numbers. So actually, they're collectible. That's another great thing about them. They, you, you can actually collect them by number. So if you like that kind of kind of stuff, you know, you like that kind of stuff, definitely there's there. Look at this one. This is $40, 20%. This is the number 34, Lakes at Hobbit, whole diorama. Pretty neat. So they seem to have a lot of stuff. I don't know if a Spec Fiction does have any weird stuff. They might. They do. Look at this piece. This is the Shadow of the Tomb of Raider, Lord of Craft 1 4 scale statue by Weta. I think this they have it or is on pre order. 750 pieces at 1 4 scale. This is a nice, nice statue. Weta is a great company. Um, when they do stuff, they do stuff. You know, they do really nice stuff. Let's go back to where we're looking at this. This very nice piece. Very cool. Look at the detail. This is the, the where they were showcasing there. They were taking pictures. Love the detail. Love the color, the weathering, and the cloak and the clothes on display. It looks better, you know, cl in close up than uh, you know behind the the glass. But let me show you another one. Let's go. We're still there. Let me show you another one. Right there, Gandalf and Frodo on card. This is the one that I was mentioning. That it's amazing. This is the one that I really like. It's huge. This piece is huge. It's a one six scale. Love the car from the scene, of course, of the of the first one. The Fellowship of the Ring. Love the the everything, even the paint job on the horse. It looks so natural. The road, the grass, the little flowers. It's you know. Wildflowers on the road, the card, the texture, all of that. This is a nice, nice piece. It's going to be probably extremely limited, probably around 300, 400 pieces perhaps. No more, but it's going to be expensive. Look at all the all the fireworks in the back. That's neat. Look at that one. Definitely neat. This is, to me, this was probably my favorite Perhaps this was my favorite piece of all the convention. I can tell you one thing. Definitely love it. This is going to be very nice. It is very nice. And I uh, really love it. Let me see if there is anything else that we miss. I 
I don't think we missed anything else. Oh yeah, minus more goal. This is the piece. A lot of people like this one. I don't think this is in the front. Might be in the back. Oh, right there. Looks terrible, though. That picture doesn't look right. This one looks better. Those little environmental scapes or whatever looks pretty neat. Uh, they also produce a lot of this. A lot of people love those. So definitely, definitely, that's that's pretty good. Um I don't know. I can tell you one thing. I can go. I can go and look for all the stuff they produce. It's just amazing the stuff. The Lord of the Rings. Um, I've never been so much into like collector of Lord of the Rings stuff. I love the stuff, but I never really got the chance. But some of the stuff that they're producing is so fantastic, so amazing that definitely it deserves a you know pretty much a second chance. Um, in this case, I want to tell everyone, all of you, thank you very much for taking time to really watch this uh, video live stream. We already extended ourselves. We cover a lot of companies. We cover a bunch. We cover Infinity Studios. We cover Dark Horse and First Four Figures, Gecko, uh, Weta Workshop. We co cover EFX Collectibles, uh, Elite Creatures Collectibles. Uh, of course, Weta now. But definitely, it's a lot of great stuff. Uh, these companies are amazing. You know, they, they're doing amazing stuff. Some of the prices might not be, they need to adjust some of the pricing. Weta has always been expensive, primarily with their with their Lord of the Rings stuff, but they are been pretty much the game in town. But right now, Weta is getting a lot of competition with Iron Studios. Iron Studios is creating Lord of the Rings stuff, and they're creating some good stuff, and they have a partnership with SciShow. So now SciShow is going to, is the one bringing a lot of the Lord of the Rings stuff to the United States, to North America, and this region around the world. So Weta needs to kind of step up and they are doing it by creating beautiful stuff like this type of diorama so hopefully they continue on they didn't have as much stuff this year in comparison to last year but definitely they had some really neat stuff and they're also going in a new direction with the vinyl stuff which a lot of people might dis not dislike but it's good that you know they 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 keep in the options open you know for different markets because you don't want to just be labeled one thing and just be stuck with that and when things don't work out on that end particularly with the competition then you have not nothing else. You have no resources, no recourse. So definitely that's what they're doing. But definitely I, I'm very excited for all of this. It was a very nice con for statues and props and replicas. You know, some years are better than others, but this year some of the companies, the big companies, they did a lot, a lot. They brought a lot of stuff. And some of these companies are also, they brought some really cool stuff. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have another live stream. Uh, we're going to now tackle action figures, the smaller action figures. We got to talk about Mesco. We're going to talk, uh, talk about 1,000 toys, NECA. These companies really are also pushing their stuff with their stuff on their end. And definitely there's a lot of cool stuff. So once again, I want to say thank you to everyone that watched the stream. Anyone that is going to watch it in the future. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this hour, the, the, we started at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time just to accommodate for everyone that is watching around the, pretty much the country, but also around the world. Uh, if you feel that that's not the best time for you and you, you know, just let me know. I, I will make that adjustment. I just want to be able to have, you know, to be able to have to converse and talk to you. So my friends, take care. God bless. Have a good evening or have a good day if you're on the other side of the continent. Uh, or in the other side of the world, and uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Uh, and stay tuned for the podcast. And you know, in the morning, of course, we have our podcast. You can watch it here, or you can listen to it. All the links are down below. I will have some links for you for some videos, some of the stuff that I'm unable, like uh, the Weta or FX collectibles, or some other East, East, uh, elite creatures. So you can actually watch those videos, and you know, get to see. You know, you can get to see the things firsthand. So, my friends, God bless. Take care, and I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.